Um, so just um, for those that may not be familiar, just to you know, clarify, Ripple is the company and uh, RippleNet is the payments network that you know, we've developed over the last few years, leveraging crypto and blockchain to address a lot of the inefficiencies uh, in, the, in the payments network, the very particular the cross-border payments. How important is it that XRP um, stays one of the top tokens for this to work? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, again, I would say we're not, you know, really so much focused on the particular sort of price of XRP or the volatility or any other coin particularly. That so, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it has a higher or lower market cap. So, if we look at our, again, on the on-demand liquidity solution, RippleNet, where we are using XRP as a bridge currency, right, to move fiat, you know, around the world, right? Um, that is, you know, regardless of the price of so it. All that matters is how many there are. It doesn't matter what the price is. It's, it's, yeah, it's a bridge that we are using as a bridge. So um, it's not, you know, we're not here really to honestly like to speculate and, and um, it's, you know, it's a means to enhance, a means to bring that efficiency to the market. So, um, and again, I mean, when these things happen, obviously like prices drop, etc. For me, what's interesting is when I talk to one of our customers, partners, and the benefits they see, right? A, you know, a customer, as most of, you know, great examples to one of the big remittance companies name, when they can enable their payments, a, I don't know, Filipino worker paying, you know, from the UK, sending money to their family to pay for food or housing or hospital or whatever it is, and they can do that at a fraction of the cost, um, yeah. you know, at, at that for me is, is, you know, where the big value is. Um, as opposed to, you know, how much XRP is in circulation or not, and, you know, okay. I mean... Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> right answer. Um hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. That quick intro was Cindy Young. She is the managing director for Ripple over in Europe. And yeah, I don't think she was prepared for that question, but it was fun to listen to her answer. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about on-demand liquidity. I came to realize that with the short, short video I uploaded about how those wallets are used for the on-demand liquidity customers, uh, there was just a lot of confusion. And what I realized is I think there's a lot of people who don't understand how ODL works. So we're going to look at that just briefly. And also the Q2 Ripple report. I think for some strange reason, many people are focusing on the sales that were made by Ripple on the secondary market. The 0.47% of the global total XRP volume, a very small portion that was bought on the open market. And it's not new. This has been a continuation from quarters prior. And if you'd like to see those purchases made by Ripple, it's not a black box, it, not at all. You can use the pro version of the 3xrp.dev site and it's all there to see. Let me show you. When you use this site, this portion does require a little bit of a premium you can see I am on the Ripple account information and it does just take you through the flows in and out, uh, those dates that it occurs and uh, the amounts. So uh, it's, yeah, this is, it's all there for you to see. So this is also goes for the big whales and the big exchanges and the gateways. Let me show you that because this is just a site that's full of information. You can see the volume in, the volume out, the averages, along with the number of transactions, all for the top exchanges that are Ripple gateways. These exchanges are processing payments like Binance, FTX, Bitstamp, Upbit, Bitso, OKX, Bybit, Kraken, KuCoin, Coins.ph. All of those I just named are ranked in order by volume. And no, nobody is running out of XRP. You can see the quantities on the exchanges. They are packed to the gills with XRP. And do you remember yesterday I talked about the new announcement that came from SBI? SBI is providing 
the on-demand liquidity now for multiple users, and they have reorganized, redesigned the way they're going to bring that solution to the rest of the world. The old way was very flat. Do you see here? They would actually take it from SBI Remit, use the exchange SBI VC Trade, and then it would uh, use the uh, XRP over to coins.ph to be then converted into the local peso for the recipients. But check it out. Um, this is brand new. This was just announced in the last, what, 48 hours. This is where uh, SBI is going to provide a wallet, if you will, on SBI VC Trade that can be tapped into, dipped into, utilized when somebody needs to make a payment who is on the SBI side of the network. And this is Asian Net that was added. And you can see that Asian Net will be able to then dip into that XRP that's sitting on SBI VC Trade and make that happen with XRP over to the recipient. Let me show you just a little bit about Asian Net. Wrath of Kahneman found this on their Facebook website. And from the judge of it, yeah, it looks like that is running from Japan to Vietnam in that remittance quarter for on-demand liquidity. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, he is so resourceful, Wrath of Kahneman is. I have invited him on the channel. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, I didn't get a no, uh, but he's kind of pushing out the date. Uh, I, I so respect his work and his research. He is one of the best out there. So I think he has found that uh, there is an open corridor now between Japan and Vietnam. Now, let's go back to the website we were on, which is the 3xrp.dev, and we can see that the SBI VC trade volume is spiking. Really shows some strong, this is May, June, and then July. Look at July. So we're really live now, and this is an example of some ODL that is occurring, and I just, this will be fun to watch. It'll be fun to see it grow, and uh, this is why I love this site so much. I'm going to play a very short clip now of Naveen Gupta. He takes care of the Middle East and Northern Africa for Ripple. And what's important to listen here is how he says that the customers don't have to have exposure to the digital asset XRP. Have a listen. So we have taken a sledgehammer and directly attacked that. We said, hey, you know what, you can just use a digital asset called as XRP as a bridge asset. You don't have to have exposure to it. A, you know what, you can just use a digital asset called as XRP as a bridge asset. You don't have to have exposure to it. This next clip further explains how Ripple provides a wallet for the on-demand liquidity users, their clients, to actually draw down on the XRP on demand as needed. They don't have to hold it, meaning they don't have to have exposure to the volatility. They only dip into that wallet when they need to make a payment and then Ripple invoices them. So um, effectively Ripple will fund uh, your, our wallet, the wallets of our senders. And we'll basically place XRP in those wallets until you're ready to use it. Um, you don't own the XRP until you use it. So that's a really important uh, thing to call out because as we fund those wallets, Ripple still effectively owns the XRP in that wallet, which means that there's no subject, there's no volatility. You're not subject to the volatility in XRP. The only the only time that uh, XRP is used is when a transaction moves over the network. The reason why this is important, again, is because you don't have any pre-funding mechanism on the front end. You 
you don't have any pre-funding uh, mechanism on the back end. And ultimately what we do is we'll invoice you um, at a, a few days later uh, for the sale of that XRP. Don't miss August 1st. There is a massive announcement coming for Bitcoin. This news is going to be exclusive to the Lighthouse Report. And if you're not signed up, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. It's free. And I can tell you, this is really going to be a head turner. All right, everybody, I'm going to give you the sounds of summer in Japan. Do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.